Hey everybody! Today we're going to be learning about adverbs, which is something new for us in the second grade. <clears throat> Before we start that, I want to start by reviewing what we do know. So really quickly, to yourself or to somebody that's sitting near you, I want you to think about nouns. What is a noun? A noun is a person, place, or thing. And now I want you to think to yourself or tell someone near you, what's a verb? What kind of word is a verb? A verb is an action word, something that you do. And last but not least, we know what adjectives are. What's an adjective? Good, an adjective is a describing word. So if we think about the word adjective and adverb, <clears throat> They kind of sound the same at the beginning, adjective, adverb. That's because they both are describing words. So an adjective is a word that describes a noun that tells about how it looks, how it tastes, how it feels, how it smells, how it sounds. An adverb is a word that describes a verb, an action word. So let's look at my board here. I have some notes for us. You can see if we look at the word adverb, the word verb is right here inside of the word adverb to remind us that an adverb describes verbs. They tell us how something happened. So these would be words like slowly, loudly, quickly, softly, neatly, brightly. This could even be a word like fast, if something happened fast, or if something is going well. Those are all adverbs that tell us how something is happening. They're describing a verb. I want you to notice that a lot of adverbs end in the same two letters a lot of the time. Not all the time, but a lot of the time they end in the letters L-Y, like slowly, loudly, quickly. They end in the L-Y <clears throat> letters. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to share my screen with you and we're going to do a little bit of practice together. So I'm going to go over here. So now we have a sentence on the board. You can try reading it for yourself real quick. <clears throat> Our sentence says, dad drove slowly. So if we're looking, we can see that dad is gonna be the noun because that's the person we're talking about in our sentence. What is dad doing? He drove, that's our verb, that's our action word. And the word slowly is used to describe how he drove. So in the sentence, the word slowly is our adverb because it's describing how dad drove. Here's a new sentence on the board for you. I'll let you read it. It says, snow melts fast. So if we think about our sentence, our noun is the thing that our sentence is about. What is the snow doing? It's melting. So there's our verb. How is it melting? It is melting fast. The word fast is the adverb that describes how it is melting. A new sentence that I'll let you read. Matt slept well. Our sentence is about Matt, which makes him the noun, the person of our sentence. What is he doing? Our verb is slept. He's sleeping. You can show me how to do it. You know it's a verb. How did he sleep? What's our adverb? How did he sleep? He slept well. The word well is the adverb that describes how he was sleeping. A new sentence for you that you can read. Chris whispered softly. So in our sentence, we can see Chris is the person, so he's the noun. What's he doing is the verb. He whispered, there's our verb. How did he whisper? What's the adverb? He whispered 
softly, the word softly describes the way that he was whispering, which makes it our adverb. All right, here we have some blanks <clears throat> in our sentence. The first one says, they sang blank. So in the blank, you want to think of an adverb that would complete the sentence in a correct way. I could say something like, they sang cheerfully. That means they're really happy when they're singing. I could say, they sang quietly. Those are adverbs that describe how they are singing in the sentence. Another one, he waited blank. How did he wait? How was he waiting? He waited patiently. That describes how he was waiting. <clears throat> and the last one, the tiny kitten purred blank. Maybe I could say the tiny kitten purred softly. It was nice and quiet, purr, purr, a nice quiet purr. The words softly or quietly or loudly would describe how the kitten was purring, which makes it our adverb. So what I would like for you guys to do now, let me stop my screen, there we go. What I would like for you guys to do now is answer the questions below about adverbs, remembering that an adverb describes how something happens. It's describing the action or the verb in our sentence. I'll see you guys next time.